Well, dueling budgets unveiled today, one by Mayor Adams in the city. All right, the other by Governor Hochul in Albany. So what does it mean for New Yorkers? Sharon Crowley joins us now live in studio to make sense of the dollars and cents. Sharon. That's right, as Stephen Natasha. Much of the criticism coming toward the mayor and his proposed budget revolves not about cuts to services, but around his messaging, at least recent messaging. It turns out there's more money than to be had previously projected. The state is also doling out more money to help New York with the city's migrant crisis. We must support the city of New York in this moment. Governor Kathy Hochul's state budget proposal allots more money, $2.4 billion, for New York City's migrant crisis. She reasons helping the city helps the state. We're doing this not just because it's the right thing to do for the migrants and for the city of New York. We also know that companies won't do business in New York if there are thousands of people sleeping on the streets. The math getting even rosier for Mayor Adams a few hours later when he announced his city budget proposal. Tax revenues, he says, came in better than expected. It means some departments like education and aging and public libraries will be spared deeper cuts. We reduce agency and asylum seeker spending and recognize better than expected revenues. We also utilize some current year reserves. Critics quick to question how it's possible the mayor went from such a dire fiscal forecast a few months ago to a balanced budget with seemingly few cuts to services. After he scared the entire city of New York about the lack of funding, the fact that he needed to do budget cuts to schools, to libraries, to sanitation, that he needed to cut public service, public sector work, um, jobs, he now decided that the city has enough money and he reversed many of these cuts. And really what he did is like continue uh, the chaotic way that he has led the city of New York. Well, New Yorkers are not saying, Eric, we're getting whiplash. New Yorkers are saying, thanks for restoring the police class. Thanks for restoring, uh, keeping the li libraries for now harmless. Thanks for these things that you're doing. That's what New Yorkers are saying to me. Well, New York City Council Speaker is also a critic of the mayor, calling him counterproductive for, quote, needlessly instilling fear in New Yorkers with dire threats of cuts to essential services. At this point, it's important to note that the mayor must work with City Council in the coming months to get a budget passed. Stephen, Natasha. Very well. All right. Thanks, Sharon.